Let me get one thing straight. I love how far the game has come. I mean, to the point where players one through five can do damn near everything on the basketball court. But what frustrates me is when organizations put a player that's six foot eight at the point guard position just because them playing point sounds way better than it looks in reality. Y'all remember that video I made where I said Draymond Green changed how the game of basketball is being played? Well, one term that's going to define at least the next 10 years of basketball is the word hub. Every team wants a hub to run their offense through. These organizations are infatuated with having an oversized playmaker, whether it be a Draymond Green or a Nikola Jokic, a Alfred Sangoon, a Demontis Sabonis, I'll even go as far as saying a LaMelo Ball or a Tyrese Halliburton, and even a Luka Doncic, but when it becomes a success, for example, Nikola Jokic winning his first NBA championship is when every other NBA team tries to copy the formula. And that's when you get the Jeremy Sohans of the world trying to run the point guard position. I mean, the guy himself knows he sucks at it at some points he really wanted to go to pop and said I'm done with this but I say all that to support my point being that K Cunningham is not a point guard and the Detroit Pistons are failing to see this but before we get to that welcome back to another video here with your boy NBA Addict TV where we provide the latest NBA content on the tube before we get started make sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on post notifications to not miss a single video and comment down below and let's get straight to the video now I know I'm definitely gonna get some pushback from for this but let me break down why I believe that Cade is not a point guard right the Pistons average the second most turnovers in the entire NBA with about 17 turnovers a game and Cade Cunningham is responsible for about five of those turnovers a game as he only averages seven assists that assist to turnover ratio was damn near embarrassing for the main hub of the offense and it's really frustrating to watch because the Pistons have been my favorite team to watch this year because they have so much intriguing talent on that squad and they do a lot of good things on offense don't get me wrong they're top 10 in assists top 10 in blocks and top 10 in rebounding and offensive rebounding so there is a really good foundation to build off and i do believe monty williams will get this team right but the turnovers are killer you're literally handing the ball to the opponent and letting them get easy fast break points that's not a winning formula at all but it all starts with Cade cunningham Cade is averaging 22 points on 40 percent from the field and 33 percent from three he's shooting a career rare low on his two pointers at 43% along with his turnover problem. Now some may blame that on poor spacing but here at NBA Addict TV we keep it a buck. You are their number one overall pick. You're supposed to be their superstar. Having those shooting percentages is inexcusable for a guy with your talent. But this is not all Cade's fault. I do believe the Detroit Pistons have yet to put Cade in a position to be successful. Coming out of college, he averaged three assists and four turnovers. He did not show any signs that he could be a full time point guard but yet they have forced him to play a certain way that does not maximize his strength. Cade has always been inefficient and turnover prone so that leads me to question why do the Detroit Pistons have Cade playing the point guard position? The answer is they have no idea what the hell they're doing. Cade is a scorer. Cade is a bucket. Let him go out there and put up shots and worry about setting the table for everybody else later in his career. What the Pistons need to do is pair him alongside a natural point guard. Y'all drafted Cade trying to mold him into a Luka Doncic type of player when he's really a Paul George. Let him be him. When it comes to point guards that I'd like to see paired with Cade in that backcourt, it is not Jaden Ivey. Unfortunately, I prefer Jaden Ivey to continue to come off the bench and it is damn sure not Killeen Hayes. Now, I'm not completely off the Killeen Hayes boat, but I do believe he cannot coexist with Cade. So, number one on my hit list has to be Tyus Jones. Tyus Jones is still a relatively young point guard and his resume shows that he's comfortable setting the table for other players on the team and he can be paired with another ball dominant guard. Dwayne Casey, if you're listening, we need that move done by the trade deadline. Tyus Jones only has one more year left on his contract. We need to see what we got with Tyus Jones as Kay Cunningham's backcourt mate and if we don't like it, we let him walk in free agency and let him do what he do best. But with that being said, guys, let me know what you think of Kay Cunningham. Is he overrated? Should he continue to play the point guard position? Am I not being patient enough let me know in the comments down below make sure you leave a like subscribe turn on post notifications to not miss a single video and i'll see y'all next video